Hi, and welcome back. So what's this longevity supplement that's causing such a stir at the moment? Its name is ashwagandha, which in Sanskrit means smell of the horse. That refers to both its scent, which can't be good, and its potential ability to increase strength. People have used ashwagandha for thousands of years to relieve stress, increase energy levels, and also improve concentration. It's also known by several other names, including Indian ginseng and winter cherry. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. Enough waffling from me, let's get straight into the eight benefits of ashwagandha, all based on research. Ashwagandha is probably best known for its ability to reduce stress. It's classified as an adaptogen. That's a substance that actually helps the body to cope with stress. Ashwagandha also controls mediators of stress, including the heat shock protein HSP70, cortisol, and stress-activated c -Gen n terminal protein kinase, known as JNK1. It also reduces the activity of hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, that's the HPA axis, a system in your body that actually regulates the stress response. In a study with 58 participants who took 250 or 600 milligrams of ashwagandha extract for eight weeks had significantly reduced perceived stress and reduced levels of the stress hormone cortisol. This was when compared to those who just took the placebo. Those who took the ashwagandha supplements also saw improvements in sleep quality. This was when compared again to those who were in the placebo group. In another study, this time with 60 people, the researchers found that those who took 240 milligrams of ashwagandha extract per day for 60 days had a significant reduction in anxiety when compared to those who received the placebo. Thus, the early research suggests that ashwagandha may be a helpful supplement when it comes to stress and anxiety. That said, a 2021 review concluded there's not enough evidence to form a consensus on the most appropriate dosage and form of ashwagandha for treating stress-related disorders such as anxiety. Research has also shown that ashwagandha has beneficial effects on athletic performance and may be a worthwhile supplement for athletes. One analysis of 12 studies in people who took ashwagandha doses between 120 and 1,250 milligrams per day suggested that the herb may enhance physical performance, including strength and oxygen use during exercise. Another analysis looked at five studies and they found that taking ashwagandha significantly enhanced maximum oxygen consumption, that's VO2 max, in healthy adults and also in athletes. So VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen a person can use during intense activity. It's a measurement of heart and lung fitness. Having optimal VO2 max is important for athletes and non-athletes alike. Having a low VO2 max is associated with an increased mortality risk, while having a higher VO2 max is associated with a lower risk of heart disease. Additionally, ashwagandha also helped to increase muscle strength. In a 2015 study, male participants who took 600 milligrams of ashwagandha per day and participated in resistance training for eight weeks had significantly greater gains in muscle strength and size compared to the placebo group. Evidence also suggests that ashwagandha may help reduce symptoms of other mental health conditions, including depression, in certain populations. In one study, researchers looked at the effects of ashwagandha in 66 people with schizophrenia who were experiencing depression and anxiety. They found the participants who took 1,000 milligrams of ashwagandha extract for 12 weeks had greater reductions in depression and anxiety, and that's when they were compared to those who took the placebo. Also, research from 2013 showed that ashwagandha helped improve cognitive impairment in people with bipolar disorder. And a 2021 review also concluded that ashwagandha can be used to manage depression, anxiety, insomnia, and other mental health-related and neurological issues. However, much more research is needed into all these uses in these specific areas. Ashwagandha supplements have also been shown in some studies to benefit male fertility and increase testosterone levels. In one study, 43 males aged between 40 and 70 who were overweight and had mild fatigue took tablets containing 
ashwagandha extract or a placebo for eight weeks. The treatment was associated with an 18% greater increase in DHEAS, a sex hormone involved in testosterone production. Participants who took the herb also had a 14.7% greater increase in testosterone than those who only took the placebo. Sticking with men, a review of four studies found that ashwagandha treatment significantly increased sperm concentration, semen volume, and sperm motility in males with a low sperm count. It also increased sperm concentration and motility in males with normal sperm counts. As always, the researchers noted that far more studies are needed in this area. Some studies have also showed that ashwagandha may have benefits for people with diabetes or high blood sugar levels. A review of 24 studies, including five clinical studies in people with diabetes, found that treatment with ashwagandha significantly reduced blood sugar, hemoglobin A1C levels, insulin levels, and also blood lipid levels. It may be that within ashwagandha, some elements, including one called withorphin A, have powerful anti-diabetic properties that stimulate cells to take in glucose from the bloodstream. Ashwagandha contains many compounds, including with afrin A, that may help reduce inflammation in the body. Animal studies have shown that the molecule called with afrin A may also help reduce levels of inflammatory proteins, such as interleukin-10, known as IL-10. And there's also evidence that ashwagandha helps reduce inflammation markers in human beings too. Taking ashwagandha also benefits cognitive function. A review of five clinical studies found early evidence that ashwagandha could improve cognitive functioning in certain populations, including older adults with mild cognitive impairment and people with schizophrenia. Cognitive functions it may benefit included executive functioning, attention, reaction time, and performance during certain cognitive tasks. A study in 50 adults showed that taking 600 milligrams of ashwagandha extract per day for six weeks led to significant improvements in immediate and general memory, in attention levels, and in information processing speed. This was when compared to those that were in the placebo group. The researchers noted that compounds found in ashwagandha, including with afrin A, have antioxidant effects in the brain, which benefits obviously cognitive health. However, they say more research is needed before they can draw any strong conclusions. Also, many people take ashwagandha to promote restful sleep. And there's some evidence that suggests it may help with certain sleep issues. For example, a study of 50 adults aged between 65 and 80 found that taking 600 milligrams of ashwagandha root per day for 12 weeks significantly improved their sleep quality and their mental alertness upon waking. This was when compared to the placebo group. Additionally, a review of five high-quality studies found that ashwagandha appear to have a significant positive effect on overall sleep quality. It reduced anxiety levels and promoted alertness on waking. Now, ashwagandha is classified as likely safe for most people when used for up to three months, although its long-term effects are still unknown. However, ashwagandha may not be safe if a female is breastfeeding or is pregnant, as high doses may unfortunately lead to pregnancy loss. Other people who should avoid taking it are those with hormone-sensitive prostate cancer or people taking medications such as benzodiazepines or anticonvulsants or barbiturates, or is about to have surgery or has an autoimmune or thyroid disorder or even has problems with the liver. If you're in any doubt, you must consult with a medical professional before you start a supplement with ashwagandha. Some people taking ashwagandha have reported some mild adverse effects. These include upper gastrointestinal discomfort, some drowsiness, diarrhea, or vomiting. Ashwagandha's effects may not be immediate and you may have to take it for several months before noticing any effects. As always, speak with a medical professional before you take ashwagandha or any other supplement to make sure it's safe for you to use. There is no official protocol for ashwagandha and dosing recommendations may vary. For example, research has shown that doses ranging from 250 to 1,250 milligrams a day can be effective for different conditions. You can take ashwagandha in many ways, either in a single dose or in multiple doses throughout the day, and you can take it either with or without meals or even on an empty stomach. 
So where can you buy ashwagandha from a reputable source? Of the big three, only Renew by Science carries ashwagandha as a standalone supplement. Pro Health Longevity has a longevity greens powder that contains many health and longevity elements, including ashwagandha. If you choose to buy from one of these companies, you'd be glad to know they offer either a 10 or 15% discount if you use the code MYNMN at checkout. And there are affiliate links to these companies in the description below. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Let me know in the comments below, do you use ashwagandha or do you know someone that uses ashwagandha? And if you do, have you seen or have you felt any specific benefits? Also, could you let me know what dose did you find, if you take it, to be optimal? And have you felt any of the side effects that I mentioned in this video? 